guys, you all wanted to know the dumbest questions that I get asked for scuba diving or what I consider them, and I have a little list here. But this is a video you should definitely watch if you're considering to get into scuba diving and just get these questions answered right now, right here, so you don't have to worry. If you or your friends are thinking of getting into scuba diving, feel free to share this with them, and that way we can avoid these questions on the first day of your open water class. If you want to join the family, feel free to join the Ocean Pancake Patreon, get yourself a Plastic is the Killer t-shirt with the beautiful killer whale, or join the Facebook group. Now into the questions. Number one, is it hard? It's going to be different depending on your swimming experience, how comfortable you are in the water, how you deal with fear, how you deal with claustrophobia, what kind of experiences you've had before. It depends for every single person. Majority of people do not find it hard. There are some individuals which find it very hard. Wherever you are on the spectrum, it is perfectly normal. Going underwater can be a scary thing, but you can do it. Question two, do you have to know how to swim? Yes, you're going in the ocean. You have to know how to swim. Some people, places will certify you without you knowing how to swim, but trust me, you want to know how to swim. This is going to make you feel safer, more confident. It's going to be safer for your dive instructor, for your dive buddy, for everyone around you if you know how to swim and if you're comfortable enough to stay afloat in the water because you are in the water. You're in the ocean and you need to be able to be relatively comfortable. So yes, please learn how to swim before going to do your course, please. Go to the pool, get some lessons. You can do it, I believe in you. Does it hurt your ears? Um, it hurts your ears if you do not equalize your ears correctly. I have a full video about equalizing 101, so make sure to go check that out. But basically, due to the descending pressure, there's gonna be pressure on your ears. And if you do not equalize them properly, then yes, it can hurt. But it's all good, your instructor will teach you, and if they don't, go watch this video. Are sharks gonna eat you? Nope. Statistically, as a scuba diver, you are the safest person from all the ocean-going people from being eaten by sharks. Can I guarantee that a shark won't take a nibble at you? Nope. But have I ever seen it? No. Have any of my friends been bitten? Nope. Are there ways you can avoid it? Yes. If you want to learn more about sharks and shark fear, check out this video up here. Why do you need weight when you go scuba diving? Because uh, we float naturally and because we're wearing a wetsuit, which is buoyant and filled with air, and because we have all this extra equipment, without the additional weight, we would just float on the surface. So we need the weight to be able to descend underwater. Um, and then as we descend, we also breathe the air from our tank. Our tanks become lighter and they float more. So we need the weights there to just make us comfortable in the water and be able to get neutrally buoyant and swim around without constantly needing to, well, being pulled to a float up at the surface. So the amount of weight you will need will depend on your body fat, will depend on your uh, fat distribution, on the thickness of your wetsuit, on the equipment you're using, and your personal skill level. Your instructor will help you with that. How deep can you go? So you can go a different depth according to your certification. For your open water, you can go to 18 meters. For your advanced, you can go to um, 30 meters. For your deep diving specialty, you can go to 40 meters. If you want to go deeper, you're gonna have to get into technical diving and get familiar with diving with different mixtures of gases because air actually becomes toxic after like 56 meters of depth. So you need to learn a lot more theory about physics and gases and compression and chemistry. So just so you know, is it expensive? Yes, you are using equipment which is designed to per keep you alive underwater in a foreign environment. It needs to be serviced. It needs to be taken care of every single year. The people who are taking you down are risking their lives potentially if you do something silly. Um, they don't get paid enough, by the way. That's a whole separate topic um, because it's a job that a lot of people want to do. They're underpaid. Anyway, um, it is expensive. It should be expensive. Just like jumping out of an airplane, you want to make sure that the airplane and your parachute work good. When you go underwater, you want to make sure that the boat, the skipper driving your boat, the people taking you underwater, and your equipment taking you underwater all function well. It's going to cost you something. So do not go with the cheapest, most 
convenient possible route, invest some time and money to research where you're actually wanting to dive so you can dive safely. And that is why you're watching this video. So thank you so much for taking the time to learn about some of the dumbest questions I've been asked. And now that you know the answers, you are better prepared for your open water course. I have so many videos about scuba diving, so make sure to check them out. And of course, remember to wear reef safe sunscreen to protect our reef from harmful chemicals and to stop using single use plastics. And one of the single use plastics a lot of people use is razors. So avoid using razors with a fantastic alternative like Leaf Shave. Did you like my smooth transition to a sponsor message? Leaf Shave um, is a fantastic company which provides a plastic free shave and with just $70 you get razors enough for for me, it's been like two years and I haven't even gone through like half of the box. So you can get razors for up to five years for just $70. You're helping the planet, you're helping yourself, you're getting a great shave. And um, yeah, you can stop turtles or beach cleanups having to deal with all of this. So yeah, join the family, uh, become an ocean warrior, get yourself a plastic is the killer t-shirt. And let me know down below, do you have any other questions? I would love to answer them in part two of the dumbest diving questions.